This is what uh, Jen Psaki said yesterday. Senator Manchin promised to continue conversations in the days ahead and to work with us to reach the common ground. If his comments on Fox and written statement indicate an end to that effort, they represent a, quote, sudden and inexplicable reversal in his position and a breach of his commitments to the president and the senator's colleagues in the House and Senate. Your reaction to that? They basically, they retaliated. I figured they would come back strong. The bottom line is, why would I have said earlier when I was asked about the statement? that the president put out, and they said, what, what's about this statement? The president was going to basically delay it because I'd gone and talked to him. He knew we couldn't get there, but, you know, he says, I want to keep trying. I said, sure, go ahead, keep trying. Whatever you got to do, we'll do it. And he made that statement. I said, that was a president's statement. That wasn't my statement. I didn't know. You know, basically, I'm always willing. You know me, always willing to work and listen and try. I just got to the wit's end, and they know the real reason what happened. They won't tell you, and I'm not going to because. Wait, 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 wait. You no. say, wait, wait. You said you, there is. They know the real reason. They're not going to tell us. You're not going to tell us. What do you mean? What's the real? Well, what, the so bottom line is there was there was there was basically, and it's staff. It's uh, staff driven. I understand staff. It's not the president. It's the staff, and they drove some things and they put some things out that were absolutely in, in, inexcusable. And they know what it is, and that's it. So, so they, so you're saying the president's staff was putting out, I don't know, was generating criticism of you uh, that that finally pushed you to, to the brink? Is that what you're saying? I'm just saying that, bottom line, I knew that we could not change. It was never going to change. It never could change with that many people. So I think for the last month, I've been telling people, they keep saying, Joe, where are you? What are we going to do? How about this? And all of my colleagues are getting very frustrated. I could understand that. And I said, gentlemen and ladies, it's time to vote. Just vote. I'm not going to tell you where they want to guarantee up front. I, said, I can't guarantee anything up front. Just vote. You'll find out where I 